those of us who think of Hello Kitty as merely an innocuous lunchbox sticker, this next story may come as a bit of a surprise. They recently held the first Hello Kitty convention, and rather than attracting, say, 108-year-old girls, tens of thousands of people showed up, many of them actual grown-ups. What's going on here? ABC's Abby Boudreau explains. Some of these people happily waited all day in this long line, waiting for something that will last a lifetime. Kamiko DePedro's childhood obsession over Hello Kitty is still so much a part of her, she's making it permanent. This is permanent. I know. I'm totally okay with that. I was ready for it. Oh my God. I'm kind of freaking out. Like you're actually getting this done right now. Yeah. It's amazing. Are you nervous? No. Okay. What kind of and she's not alone. It may have been Katy Perry's teenage dream to have her very own Hello Kitty tat. And she was happy to show it off here at the very first Hello Kitty convention, celebrating this iconic character. Welcome to Hello Kitty Con! Nothing short of 25,000 fans flocking to this museum in downtown Los Angeles to celebrate their red boat hero and her 40th birthday. And happy birthday! She may just be the embodiment of cute, but behind those sweet eyes is a very big business. The Sanrio company, who owns and licenses Hello Kitty and a host of other characters, reportedly earned $8 billion in 2013. There are 50,000 Hello Kitty products in more than 70 countries. Really, you could live your life with Hello Kitty products from morning to night. You can wake up in your bed with your Hello Kitty alarm clock, make coffee with your Hello Kitty <laughs> coffee maker and toaster, Go to work in your Hello Kitty car. But why are so many people drawn to a character that doesn't even have a mouth? Why do you think that she has remained relevant for so long, for 40 years? I think it starts with really good design, strong aesthetics, and Sanrio has done that. But she's never <laughs> said anything. You know, I think the answer to that would be she doesn't have to. People can fill in from for their own purposes what they would like her to express. What do you love about her now? Oh my God, what don't I love her? I mean, she's iconic to us. I mean, it, she's evolved with women and children. So I mean, she loves her. I love her. I can still I can still be a kid at heart <laughs> at my age. What do you think? I love her. So I love cute. it. Now you're not a fan at all. No, oh, definitely yeah. not. We're, we're not fans. Not fans. <laughs> okay. Now I feel like I fit in. And if you think these frenzied fans seem a bit excitable, imagine when they recently learned their favorite kitty is not a cat, but instead a little girl. Devastating news to some of her more sensitive fans. We were actually surprised that it rocked the world so much and I think it got, it kind of got bigger than we expected. She's always been that little girl. Uh, we describe her, okay, she's Hello Kitty. If you want to think of her as a cat, that's, that's great. Some people describe her as a little girl that looks like a cat. Some people describe her as a cat that looks like a girl, little girl. It all works for us. From little girls to grandmas and pretty much everything in between, even some guys seem to embrace all things kitty. Well, kind of. <laughs> Why are you here? Uh, because my wife loves Hello Kitty. My, my wife dragged me. <laughs> Today, there are thousands of products. But back in 1975, it all started with a simple coin purse. The original coin purse from 1975, introduced in Japan. We have it on loan from our Sanrio Tokyo office, where it is kept in a vault. It sold for 220 yen, which was a little under a dollar at the time. Okay, and now? And now, I can't even fathom what it's worth. It's, millions it's, and millions? I would, I would probably say to say millions and millions. This may be the Hope Diamond for Kitty fans, but the event has countless other vintage treasures. I had Ooh. something almost just you like see, this. You this, see, this is what I mean. <laughs> this is what I mean. People will look and say, I remember that. Yeah, with the magnetic <laughs> opening. I remember that. I'm goosebumps just thinking you about know. it. And while fan favorites were front and center, there were new surprises around every corner. Candy from Dylan's Candy Bar, pajamas, makeup from Sephora, and tons of products from Target. There's even high fashion, Hello Kitty Couture. Like we have very soft looks, we have latex pieces, leather work. It just shows how versatile she is. Like she's just she's just part of fashion. 
And there's something here for everyone. Learn to make Hello Kitty cupcakes with Food Network star Duff Goldman. Though, did you know her favorite food is apple pie? You can even master the art of Hello Kitty flower designs and jewelry. But we thought this seminar would really whet your appetite. Spam, anyone? Is anybody ready okay. for her flower? What do you think about this, this actual workshop? This is hilarious. I love this. Yeah, I know. Just, you know, favorite food and favorite characters. Perfect mix. So when do you get to eat it? Uh... We were thinking of never eating it. Oh, you're not going to eat <laughs> it. We're just going to preserve it. <laughs> Sanrio says it has big plans for the next 40 years. I'm pretty confident that she will continue to evolve. So I think we uh, very carefully want to continue to evolve her with new designs, new experiences, new products, and new ways to connect with the fans. So uh, she definitely will evolve, while at the same time we want her to stay true to that kind of classic Hello Kittiness. Artist Yuko Yamaguchi, often referred to as Mama, has been designing Hello Kitty for more than 30 years. I think everybody, uh, men and women of all ages, will wear Hello Kitty and uh, use Hello Kitty products. With world domination in the sights of Hello Kitty, it's hard not to get swept up. Oh, that's so great! <laughs> I'm just really excited about it. Remember Kamiko de Pedro? Turns out she's thrilled with her new tattoo. I've never been so excited to get a tattoo before. It's like a journal entry, so you always remember exactly where you're at at that point in time in your life. So people showing their obsession and their love for a character, I don't have a problem with it. And neither do I, so I gave it a try too. Okay, so mine isn't permanent, but it does put me in that Hello Kitty state of mind. It looks good. It looks good, right? Yeah, yeah. I love it. For Nightline, Abby Boudreau, ABC News, Los Angeles.